in our weekly tourism update. During the first 18 days of February, over 138,000 tourists arrived in the country. Daily arrivals reached over 7,700 and are now at pre-COVID levels. Russia was the primary source market, followed by India and the United Kingdom. SLTDA is expecting over 200,000 arrivals in the month, almost on par with January. Sri Lanka and Israel signed a direct air service agreement. The facility is expected to prompt overseas employment of Sri Lankans in Israel, while also increase interest of Israelis visiting Sri Lanka. According to Shalak Gajabahu, chairman of Sri Lanka Tourism Promotion Bureau, Sri Lanka is to promote its wellness tourism segment to capture a lucrative market, especially from European countries. Sri Lanka is set to welcome 50 cruise ships in the months of February to April. According to Sarif Odin, Director General of the SLTDA, each ship carries around 1,000 passengers and will be anchored in the harbour for around two days. Looking at regional destinations, Sri Lanka's close competitor Maldives welcomed 195,000 tourists in January. A strong recovery last year saw 2 million visitors arriving in the country. And with that, we wind up for this week. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel at the link below for regular updates on economic and business developments in Sri Lanka. Until we see you again next week, thank you for watching. Stay safe.